Today on our 2011 Volkswagen Rutan, we will be installing the Toready T1 connector trailer wiring, part number 118490. Now in this particular vehicle, the cover has some slots in it and we were able to fish the wire through it and then pull enough length out to reach the center of our hatch area to make the connections if we were connecting to a trailer. You will notice the weather trim is soft enough that the wires will not be crushed, but you want to keep it away from the center latch area so that you do not damage the wires when the rear hatch is closed. Now we'll go ahead and close it and show you what it looks like. Now we'll open it back up. And we'll show you how the wire is stored. You can actually store the extra length in this compartment area, keeping it out of your way and from being damaged. To begin with, we will raise the rear hatch. Once we've done that, we will locate the two screws on either side that hold the tail lights in for the driver and passenger side. We'll go ahead and remove these two screws. You will notice that there is a little locking tab that you must remove first. A small screwdriver is helpful in removing this. And then you will unclip the wire. We'll repeat this for the passenger side. Once you have both light assemblies removed, now it is time to start running the wiring harness. Now we will take the green end of the wiring harness and drop it down in between the bumper fascia and the body in the area where we just removed the driver's side rear tear light. You will first start with the connection on the driver's side. One end of the wiring harness will clip into the factory wiring harness When you do this, you will need to reinstall the locking tab that was removed earlier. You will then run the green wire behind the bumper fascia over to the passenger side and then back up into the pocket area where the passenger side taillight assembly was. While routing this wire, you also want to make sure you stay away from any areas with sharp edges, any moving parts, or any areas that may become hot, such as the exhaust area. In this case, we used a small section of old air tubing to help fish the line up to make our connection. Once you have the green wire run up on the passenger side, we can go ahead and make the connections to the taillight assembly. Once you have this done, then you will take the new connection from the harness and connect it to the back of the light assembly, making sure you push the red tab down to lock it in place as well. Once the wiring connections are made, now it is time to reinstall the light assembly. Now we will go under the vehicle and use some zip ties to help secure the green wire that we just ran from the driver's side over to the passenger side. Now to clean up the appearance, we will go ahead and use some side cutters to snip off the excess of the zip ties. Now that this is done, we'll move back to the driver's side. You will notice where the tail light wiring harness goes into the body, there is a rubber boot. You will need to pull this rubber boot out of the body as we will need to make a small cut in the side of it to allow our new four-way wiring to be fished through. Now we will move to the inside of the vehicle. There is a cover on the left-hand side that covers up the spare tire tools. This cover will need to be removed as well as removing the jack and the other tools. There's also a small section of carpet that will need to be removed. Once this is done, You'll see a small cover that has a grommet hole in it with a few wires already going through it. You'll need to pull this out as this is where our new four flat will end up being fished through later. Now that we have this, we'll move back to the outside of the vehicle. Now you will need to fish the four flat through this hole into the inside of the vehicle. You wanna make sure you pull enough wire in so that the wiring harness can reach the hitch area. Now that we've made sure that the length is okay, we'll go ahead and put this grommet back in, making sure the four flat goes in the small slit that we put in the grommet earlier. Now we'll move back to the inside again. You will go ahead and pull the four flat wire connector through the grommet hole in the jack storage area. You will want to make sure that you pull enough length through this area that you can reach your trailer hitch. Next we'll need to go ahead and connect the ground wire behind the tail light assembly. You will use a self-tapping screw supplied with the kit. You want to find a good flat area to screw the screw in through the ring connector on the white wire. 
If possible, try to find an area where the metal is doubled up. If not, at least find a good flat area and make sure the screw is tight. We can go ahead and make the connection to the driver's side taillight assembly. Make sure you push the red tab down, locking the connector in place. Once we've made the connection to the driver's side taillight assembly and the red clip is securely fastened, we can go ahead and screw that back into place as well. Once that is done, you can go ahead and put the jack and the tools back in this area, being sure not to crush the wire. Next, we'll go ahead and do a quick test to make sure our connections and our four-way flat is working properly. You can use a small test light if you have one. Connecting the alligator clip to the white wire on the four flat, the brown will be for running, the green will be for the right turn signal, the yellow will be for the left turn signal, and the brake lights will be constant on the yellow and the green. And there you have it. We've completed the installation of our Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118490 on our 2011 Volkswagen Rutan.